If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, V Chain family. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss a Boomin video. Apologize for no video yesterday, guys. Had some construction going on in the home, so it was just was not feasible for me to make a video. I really did want to make one yesterday, but uh, just was not in the cards. But we're back today. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Before we get into the VJ news, we've got some more Fed updates. All right, so uh, the Fed will be um, raising interest rates again this month, later this month. Um, and hopefully we can, hopefully the, the Fed rate hike is priced into the current market. I think it could be. <clears throat> the Fed's great pause could be a huge for the crypto and the price of Bitcoin. ETH, BNB, XRP, Solana, Cardano, Dogecoin, and VeChain, because they all move together in tandem. Bitcoin and crypto prices have crashed by two trillion in recent months, with the market now braced for a potential crypto black swan event this month. I think they're talking about the ETH merge. Now, um, Bitcoin price dropped to around 20k per Bitcoin as traders. And just the hotly anticipated bombshell comments made by the Federal Reserve last week when he promised to continue raising interest rates to drive down inflation. All right, so. Um, <clears throat> so they're going to probably raise the interest rates by either 50 basis points or 75 basis points. You'll basically see a great pause from the Fed. Bill Barnhard, Chief Executive Crypto Wealth Management Platform, explaining the great pause will come when the Fed dramatic rate increases have had the intended effort of slowing down inflation and the Fed put rates, puts rate hikes on hold. Okay. Now, they did say that their main goal is to target 2% inflation. Now, obviously, that's impossible because um, we would need to raise interest rates up to, you know, 1980 levels, you know, 15, 20% in order to get inflation back down to 2%. We're not even at, you know, uh, positive inflation rates yet positive interest rates. So <clears throat> for them to get it to 2%, that would really push America, that would push literally the whole world into a great depression because they would need to raise rates 15, 16, 17%. And people, businesses would just go out of business because it would be so high. The cost of borrowing money would be so high. Not only that, when the Fed raises interest rates as well, guys, the cost for the American, the cost for American debt goes up as well. So America has to pay more on their debt and for them to actually get inflation back down to 2% at this moment, uh, is just not politically feasible. So pretty much <clears throat> this article is trying to, is, is explaining that. Um, they're going to raise rates until they think that inflation has calmed down a little bit, and then they're going to pause on it, hopefully cut rates after inflation has been handled. Now, I think we should start to normalize having a bit higher inflation. I think 2% is a bit low, uh, but that's, that's to be neither here nor there, and that's to be seen in the future, so... <clears throat> More interest rate hikes are coming. Just be prepared. And uh, let's just keep our eye on what the Fed does. Don't fight the Fed. 
Moving on, guys. Uh, the, from the 5th of September until the Ethereum merge is complete, we'll be suspending VIN to VET token swaps. So if you have not swapped your VIN over to VChain, make sure you do so now. I'm pretty sure everybody who's had VIN has already swapped over unless you were in jail or in a coma for the past five years. So if you have any extra VIN on a obscure wallet somewhere, make sure you get it swapped. The function will resume once the ETH network has stabilized following the upgrade. We thank you in advance for your understanding. All right, so <clears throat> This is actually gonna be cool guys. Hopefully the merge goes off without a hitch and uh, Ethereum becomes fully proof of stake. That would be amazing. Also, <clears throat> if the merge occurs and there is a hard fork and there are two tokens that are created, I don't think there will be, but if there are two tokens that are created, don't forget guys that you have two ETHs, <laughs> so uh, there could be some tax implications of that. Uh, so just keep that in mind, all right? Let's go ahead and move on. DigiCard Key. DigiCard Key, a trusted partner of the VeChain Thor blockchain, now has a mobile app. It's pretty cool. With the DigiCard Key mobile app, users may scan tagged items with their device, recording user data, to build the history of Providence on the VeChain Thor blockchain. With this recorded data, users can verify who scanned, what items, when, where, and why. Again, from card maker to home, from farm to table, you can track and trace your favorite items, all your items on the VeChain Thor blockchain. Thank you, DigiCard Key. <clears throat> Let's move on. Got another video here, guys. Uh, hopefully this <laughs> this video will play a bit better than the last one here. Um, we showed this a couple of days ago, but couldn't hear it too well. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it now. Let's go ahead and play it. Christopher Lindholm, head of Global Customer Management and DMV Group, described DMV's digital passport solution for product traceability, supply chain sustainability, and trustworthy communication. Let's take a listen. Solution overview. This is where yeah. vital information such as product certification, social compliance, environmental attributes can be captured with blockchain. The blockchain means that the data is timestamped and tamper proof, but the blockchain in itself doesn't make the data true. Someone needs to verify that. That's also the role of DMV. So we verify the data and then on another platform, we present that data to the consumer hosted by DNB, so the consumer can scan with a QR code and have <coughs> verified storytelling. Here's a case, an example from the textile industry. I guess you are familiar with the, with the company. They use our My Story concept for a transparency project where they take um, blue navy sweaters and the wool and the wool cutoff to bring it back into their supply chain and into their production. And in order to um, communicate this to the consumer, they need to have these steps verified. So the My Story will do that, and the ultimate end product carries a tag where consumers can scan the code. You can try with your phone, but may maybe it's a bit too small um, for the QR code to work. Um, the My Story is not only a uh, solution we, we deploy for textile, we also deploy it for other industries where also product integrity and transparency. So it'll be good to hear that a little bit better, guys. Um, let me know if there's still some sound issues with that. And uh, let's go ahead and move on and wrap things up. Got a busy day today. Sorry for the short video, but uh, busy day ahead. 610 days left to the next Bitcoin block having guys. And taking a look at the crypto markets here. Hopefully. Like I had mentioned earlier, the interest rate hikes are priced in. <clears throat> they should be. They should be. We all know that the interest rate hikes are coming. Okay, we all know what the Fed's going to do this month. So, you know, if we do go down a little bit more, hopefully we can come back up some. Um, all, all cryptos are down today. Um, not surprising. 
the Fed is just trying to bring down asset prices, guys. All right. We we live we don't live in a world, we don't live in a cash based society. Okay? We don't live in a world where you know cash rules. We live in a credit based society. Meaning we don't spend the money we have, we spend the money we qualify for. Meaning that <clears throat> people don't buy cars with cash. People buy cars with credit. People don't buy homes with cash. They buy homes with credit. Okay. Interest rates go up. Credit becomes more expensive. If credit more becomes more expensive, people can't borrow as much. If people can't borrow as much, spending slows down. If spending slows down, businesses go out of business. Businesses go out of business. Wages go down, wages go down, stock prices go down. It's a cycle. So the Fed is actively trying to bring down asset prices in order to tamper inflation. They're trying to bring down, bring up unemployment in order to try to tamper inflation. So you got to put yourself in the best position to continue to invest during these times and to set yourself up for when the Fed will, they will, reverse course at some point all right guys i love y'all i'll talk to you soon with the cardano updates have an amazing day goodbye guys thank you so much for enjoying another booming video i want to give a special shout out to our wonderful patreon subscribers maryland for crypto american home remedies.com fruz den kyle bachi crypto SI, angel topia dnc veil vale, leon jackson the second kragan all flail llc and lucky sunshine token Thank you again, guys, for your wonderful support. I really, really appreciate it, and I do these for you. Keep chopping wood, guys. We are all going to make it. Have an amazing day.